what we have. It's my dance bag. And so, I'm gonna tell you what's in my dance bag today. I keep looking at the side. I'm sorry guys, you're over here today. So, uh, let's film this what's in my dance bag from biggest to smallest, and then I'm gonna go on to my leotard collection. That's gonna be fun. Okay, so the first thing we have in here is obviously a Gatorade, zero, no calories. There you go. And then um, getting into the interesting stuff, I have some trash bag pants. I'll insert a picture like right here of what they actually look like on, but they're like insulating, so they'll keep your legs nice and warm. Next, we have point shoes in a mesh bag, because why not? Why does this happen to me? All right, so next we have a pair of shorts because I always bring an extra pair of shorts for my students in case they need any. Um, I just have black Nike Pros. Next is two things. Just have a random piece of paper in here. Two things. So obviously I have a pair of jazz shoes. Yeah, they're like a full, full foot jazz shoe. I don't really use these that much. Then I have my ribbon for my waist for ballet. I don't really use this anymore, so I just tie my shoes together with it. I have this cute little coffee bag that my mom sent me a care package in. It says inspiration, a uh, cup of inspiration, sorry. And um, I have two pairs of flat ballet shoes. I have my uh, block Odets, which are brand new. Well, and then I have an extra pair of my older ballet shoes. And yes, I had mismatched shoes. It's fine. Okay, so the main compartment is done. We're gonna move on to these side compartments here. I have socks up the wazoo. I have this $6 speaker from Amazon and it kind of looks like an Alexa, except it doesn't light up. Next, I have this little coin purse I've had since I was literally five and it's full of just hair ties. <laughs> All right, these are paws. These help me turn because I am awful at turning. Last compartment in the big thing. First, I have uh, an extra pair of pink tights, uh, footless for some reason. I, I'm really at a loss of, as to why these are in here. I always get dressed before I go. Next is some rosin for when you're slipping and sliding around the stage and not nice, especially last semester we were on a linoleum floor. Um, for point. Next, I have uh, two chapsticks just because I am obsessed with chapstick. I have stretch ribbon for points. It's supposed to fit in my point repair kit, which has needles, thread, hiccups, an elastic, and an extra elastic in here. Um, I cannot bring a lighter into school, so we're gonna have to deal with that somehow, other way. Okay, next is something my mom got me, and um, they are over the knee leg warmers and they're the cutest things because they're pink I, don't, I have nothing to say about those they're, they're just cute and then last but not least i have a tangled pair of headphones because why not even though i have airpods and i take them everywhere with me because they're attached to my keychain like so in this i have oh geez i have a hair kit it's just two bun makers for some reason i have a brown one and a a uh, blonde one, neither of which are my hair color, and uh, I think three hair nuts, and then a bunch of bobby pins, and uh, more hair ties, and then of course I have to have band-aids. These have already been ripped open. There have been a few incidents, not because of me. Um, then I have an ace bandage because I hurt myself a lot and my ankle swells up. Then I have cough drops, and then I have a little notebook. I don't use this notebook, and then I have a brush with a scrunchie. <laughs> oh my charger and then deodorant because you stank okay and that's everything in my dance bag so without further ado let's go to my leotard collection i have a bit of an addiction um <laughs> i know this is not as big of uh, an addiction as other people so let's uh, get into it i want to say that some of these brands i know are expensive but a lot of them if not all of them, except for one, I've gotten either discounted or thrifted, which um, this one is a sweater. I just wear it over my leotards. I like it because it, it's baggy at the arms, but it's also like tight at the arms for some reason. 
Oh, and that's by the brand Kabi, C-A-B-I. This leotard, this is probably my best, I don't, know, I don't want to say my best fitting. It might, it's my most comfortable. It's pretty, like, form-fitting. I brought over my hanger for my costumes for showcase. Next, I have, this is the leotard that I wore in, if you follow me on Instagram, at Rachel Genetti, um, you will have seen me pose for pictures for last semester. Leotard number three. I really like this one, but on me, it's awful. It's the same color as this hanger. <laughs> it's just a light blue. It is really pretty, and I believe this is a Capizia leotard. I might be wrong about that. This is the one leotard that my mom got me for Christmas. She's my Nutcracker leotard from Lucky Leo Dancewear. She is a high neck, and it's like the perfect loose high neck. And it even has the Rat King on the back. See, it's like right down here. It's so cute. I love it. I'm gonna set her down here gently. I have this one, which is an old reliable. She has a little bit of deodorant on her, I'm sorry. Um, this is a Capizia leotard, plain black. I got it for myself for Christmas. Um, it's also a size large because I like them a little bit baggier so I don't like feel insecure. Plus I have a really long torso so it's like weird, my proportions don't match up. And then last but definitely not least is the leotard I'm probably going to be wearing today to dance. And she is I believe an off-brand Yumiko <laughs> or Maria, one of those two. I got her for $7 but it's really nice and I like the colors. So this is it. Um, it has a high neck and a zip up and it goes uh, really shallow on the sides which is kind of fun because I don't know I just feel like it's really fun um, it comes up higher here so you don't like feel too exposed which I fully appreciate especially when I'm moving a lot um, but yeah so this is my leotard collection uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe if you feel like doing that. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Rachel Janetti and yeah, if you have anything else to say, leave it in the comments. I would love to reply to all your comments and like your comments and everything. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>